Working in geometry, uh, from the menu you click on geometry, it's on the left hand side, halfway down, and we're going to be working, um, drawing triangles today, and and basically um, working out unknown angles and sides of triangles without having to use the sine or cosine rules. Um, so first of all we need to, if there's anything on the screen, you go edit clear all and get rid of any drawings. Um, also if you've got some axes or dots on your screen, you press this button up here and that uh, cycles through your options. So you can have axes with numbers on it, you can have a grid, or you don't have anything at all. This is what we want, a clear screen, nothing on there. So we're going to draw a triangle and to draw a triangle click on the triangle button there and you can just tap anywhere on the screen and it will draw yourself a triangle which takes up the whole screen and if that's too big for you just to let you know of a couple of shortcut keys you can use the subtract and add keys to zoom in or zoom out sorry for subtract and zoom in for plus but um, another th cool trick is uh, over here the equals button We'll zoom, um, always making sure your triangle fits in uh, on the screen perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, draw in this triangle which is kind of based on question 15 from the waste exam. We're going to make this side here 8 units long. I know it's got variables in the actual exam but uh, if you once you work out what the value of x is and substitute in you can actually figure um, the sides out. So that side's 8 um, units long. Um, the bottom side is uh, 10 units long, but if you just tap on the bottom side there, notice the two sides are, are selected. That means we're now looking at this angle, 61 degrees. So we don't want that angle 61 degrees. We want the angle between those two sides to be 30 degrees. So we'll choose that, execute, and see how the triangle changes. If you tap away from the triangle somewhere, just in the open space, everything gets removed and we want to then tap on the bottom side and we want to make this and override it and make it 10 units long so it's uh, made it to scale exactly how it should be however it's off the screen so if we just press equals it'll then uh, put it back on the screen now these letters A, B and C are slightly different to what we've got in the question 15 I think it goes A on the top, B there and C over here but that doesn't matter uh, we're not going to rotate it around what we're going to do is we want to work out the area of this triangle. So to work out the area of a triangle, you select all three sides and up the top there it gives you the area of the triangle, 20 square units in this case. Okay. If you wanted to work out, say, angle um, this top angle up here, you tap on the two corresponding sides to it and it gives you the angle up there, 97.5 degrees. If you wanted to work out the length of the opposite side over here, BC, you just tap on that and it gives you 5.04 units um, or whatever. And if you wanted to work out this unknown angle here, C, you'd uh, do that and it will give you 52.5 degrees. Um, doing it this way, you will have to um, be careful of the ambiguous um, case with the sign rule. Um, sometimes you'll be able to get an angle and take that away from 180 and, and still be okay so um, I, th I think Charlie Watson on his website has a bit more detail about that so we'll just go back to draw one more triangle and see if we can practice putting it all together so to get rid of this one just go edit clear all okay and we'll draw another triangle this time I'm going to show it using a drag it box like that and this triangle we're going to make this side uh, five units so remember to get to the measurement by click on the right arrow, overwrite the 9.4, make it 5 units um, this angle here, angle A in this case it will be 60 degrees, so overwrite that 60 degrees and the last thing we're going to do is work out this side here, so we're going to click away from the triangle to deselect everything and click that one and this is also 5 units long and go execute and click away and press equals to make the triangle back on the fit on the screen and we want to work out this long side over here so we tap on the side and it gives us to us it's five because this is a happens to be an equilateral triangle in this particular example of question uh, 15 from our waste exam but we wanted to work out the area of this triangle tap, tap on all the um, sides and we get an area of 10.8 say you wanted to work out the perimeter I know it's pretty easy you can just add um, five, lots of three, but um, it also does it as well. The drop-down arrow, 
gives the perimeter of the triangle if you if you needed to work that out. And um, that's that's it for this particular topic.